Hope core videos have been going viral on social media. Maybe it's time to learn how you can make one for yourself using CapCut. To inspire your viewers and yourself to never give up. To keep going. So in this video, we'll essentially be editing the intro you just saw together. I'll also share with you popular songs that I used in these Hope Core edits. I'll share with you where you can find the main speaker footage. I'll also share with you where you can find B-roll to put on top to make the edit more interesting. And then we'll go into CapCut, do all the editing, the heavy lifting. And then I'll share with you a few extra editing tricks that you can use to make your edits pop and stand out. And I do think these little things make a big difference overall. Let's get started. So. I've been shazamming on my phone a few of the songs that I use in Hope Core Edits. And here are the songs that I've shazammed. A lot of them are by Flawed Mangoes. Shout out Flawed Mangoes. But yeah, the songs will be in the description below. And then when it comes time to look for the speaker clip, you can either find it by searching the words said in that video on YouTube you can look at the caption of the Hope Core video if they credit the speaker. You can also look in the comment section where people often ask and other people often will reply. And you can download the music or the speaker clip via some sort of YouTube to MP3, MP4 converter or screen record. And then to get B-roll to put on top of it, you can get your own B-roll by filming yourself. You can get stock footage from this website called pixels.com and this is free. You can go to get movie clips from gityarn.io and you can get videos from athletes because I see a lot of videos of athletes in these edits by just screen recording. But be aware of copyright and you want to, yeah, just, just err on the side of caution. Yeah. All right, and then fonts that I've seen being used include Covetica, Times New Roman, Europa Grotesque. Again, these will be in the description down below. But it's ultimately your style and a lot of this is just figuring out what's on brand for you, what feels right, what you like. Personal preference. Alright, so now let's get started with the editing. So, let's open CapCut, new project, and then import all the clips we want to use. So this is going to be my uh, main source video and we'll drag that to our timeline. Now, if your main source video has like music or noise, what you can do, you can go and select it, go under audio, and then go vocal isolation and reduce noise. However, this is just me speaking to this microphone, so it's all good. Now, I know the audio looks a bit quiet, so I'm just gonna increase the audio, something like that. And then now, is the time to remove all the gaps or add gaps depending on what you want with your video. So let's zoom in. I know I want like a few gaps because the pauses are not long. On social media. Maybe it's time to look. And also if your aspect ratio isn't right, you want to go select this and select nine by 16. So it's portrait mode because this is for short form and that's what I recommend. So yeah, I want a longer gap here. So what I'll do is I go command B if the gap's too long, you can shorten it by going like this. But for me, I want a longer gap actually. So I'll go stock materials, black, and now Medium. we've got a longer gap. And I actually want a longer gap here as well. So I'm going to do the same, trim the excess on both sides, and then add, add a just black, black screen. Alright, that looks good for me. And then now what I'll do is I'll add music. So this is Bird Song by Flawed Mangoes. I know that I want to add it here. And I know I want it to start here. This is just well, I've done this before to prepare for this video. You just have to go and check where you want your song to start. To inspire you. There we go. I'm gonna start it here. To inspire. I'm gonna have a slight ease into it so it's like that to inspire your viewers okay cool to inspire and then i want to select where it ends 
All right, I want it in somewhere here, so I command B, delete that, tail off it in slightly. Give up to keep going. There we go. To keep going. All right, now that that's done, what we're gonna do is now we're gonna add the classic black borders corner thing. So if we, you know what, let's go to stock materials and add this black background again, and we'll increase the scale so it covers the entire frame. And then we're gonna go mask, rectangle, and then we're gonna click this button here, which is reverse. And we want to move these so that it's the right size and the right shape. And usually for short form when you post it, there's a little bit of a crop sideways. So I try to have some sort of a redundancy in the, the width. So that looks good. So if I select all these, clips by holding command and selecting them or control if you're on a PC select all these clips while, while it's on top of that then I'll adjust it so it looks like this oh yeah I forgot to add the round corner so if we select this we go mask and you drag this corner piece over here you can do the round corner effect and you can adjust how much rounding has a good so that's what I want so what I'll do is I go command C Command V and I'll paste this to the other clips on top of the other clips like this so you get this look so hope cool videos have been going viral on social media and this intro part I didn't add a song but I will so what I'll do is I go command C command V of this song and I know what I want for the intro is later in in the song so if I just scroll this way a lot So here's the intro part, which I want to use, which is a bit odd where it's in the middle, but I, I just know this song because I've I just listened to it a bit and I prepared for this video. So there we go. Make it quieter, ease into it. Hope cool videos have been going viral on social media. Maybe it's time to learn how you can make one for yourself using CapCut to inspire your... That looks good. Now I'm gonna add some B-roll. So B-roll is just whatever I put on top of this A-roll. And I got a whole bunch of clips that I filmed of myself. Now you can get these B-rolls from other places too. But let's just add the B-roll we want to add. So let's get a shot of me looking up at the camera, something like this. Let's drag it here. To inspire your viewers, and when I drag it on, I want to go to basic and make it the right size. Something like this. Using CapCut. Usually I try to time the cut with my music. So I notice a spike here where the beat starts. So I'll try to time it somewhere there. And then maybe a shot of me filming this boxing coach. We'll just put it here. You get the idea though. It's just a matter of playing around and seeing what you like. Let's reduce the volume slightly because it's ambient noise. I don't want too much ambient noise. To inspire your viewers and yourself to never give up. But I want a little bit. And then I just added more clips of me doing various activities to my edit. Sometimes I'll make a few adjustments to the clips. For example, in this shot of me shadow boxing in the middle of the road, I adjusted the scale and then made me more central. By the way, you can check out this video where I actually used this shot. And decrease volume. But you get the idea, you can just fill it in with whatever you want. I think here I also might make the screen black. So if I go to stock material and then black screen over here. Maybe it's time to look. Adjust it so it's bigger. Crop it out. There we go. Maybe it's time to learn how you can make one for yourself using CapCut to inspire your viewers and yourself to never give up to keep going if you're wondering why i'm adding a black screen i just wanted a blank canvas so i can add words on top of it later looks pretty good i then just finished this process of adding b-roll to my edit sir yes sir sir maybe i'll extend the music a bit but you get the idea adjust the scale it's the same Thing. Sir. 
and then what else would I do? Do, do, do? Text. Let's add some text because this is the the style of Hope Core, right? So go to text, auto caption, generate, and it'll auto generate captions for us. And this is where the magic happens for real. So what we're going to do is we're going to first do the basic stuff first and then later on I'll show you the, the cool fancy stuff, right? So if we select this, go to captions, and we want one word to appear at each time. So what I'll do is I'll go between the words and then I'll go delete, enter, so it appears on a new line. Like this. Maybe I'll drag it centrally like this so I can see it. So delete, enter, delete, enter, so each word is on its own. You don't have to, this is just my style. And now if we go under text, let's change the font to something else. Let's go Corvetica. Regular is something I've seen being used. I then just made sure that each word appeared on a new caption and I also fixed any inaccuracies CapCut had made. I also ensured that words appeared exactly when I said them in the video. So now that that's done, the, the word's going to look like this, one word at a time. But say I want to have like a sentence pop up, but one word at a time. I'm going to show you how I do that. So what I'll do is first I'll decide where I want the sentence to kind of end. So let's say I want these to be on the same line. What I'll do is I'll stack them up almost. So if we go here and drag this up, drag this up, drag this up, drag this up, and drag this up. Now I'm going to extend this to here, extend this to here, extend this to here, and so on and so forth. But now it's going to be like all over the place. So what we'll do is we'll drag each one to its rightful place. Okay, see, see what I did there? When I drag one up, all followed. So I forgot to untick apply to all. So let's do it again. Let's go Hope Core videos. have been going let's go viral viral can be huge and let's make viral you know a different color you know let's make it maroon because um, beige and maroon goes well and let's change the font so instead of cool vertica let's go to uh, times new roman italicized and let's add a glow. So there we go. This one, because it's not pro. Just the, you know what? 50 is fine. So let's have a look at that now. Hope cool videos have been going viral on social media. And let's make viral appear with an element of. Hope cool videos have been going viral. An element of uh, like an animation. So if we go into animation, I usually go fade in. Viral. So it looks kind of cool. Hope cool videos have been going viral on social media. And I think on starts later, so let's just adjust it so it looks cooler. So we can see viral for longer as well. Let's see how that looks. Viral on social media. Hope. And let's say we want Hope Core behind me. So what I can do is I can go to this clip and just make another layer of it. So Control or Command C and then Control or Command V. And if I select this one, I can go video remove bg auto removal and it'll auto remove the background and what i can do is i can drag and drop this same location but between the two clips and now look hope core is behind my head over here i can actually zoom in by clicking this icon zoom in so i can see the image better but look look how it's behind my head now hope core videos have been going viral on social media and i'll just do this for the entire thing like just play around with it you know add lows add animation oh, cool videos have been going viral uh, another thing i can do let's do the same thing here let's go on here and let's make social media curved right let's let's see how we can do that so if we go down let's go curve there we go and let's go opposite direction oh, i can barely see it let's go here and let's make on somewhere else. 
Let's make the scale of on bigger. And let's make social media have an animation too. So if we go animation, let's go typewriter. And you can adjust how long we want the animation to be. Social me. So let's have a look now. I hope cool videos have been going viral on social media. Maybe it's time to learn how you can make one for yourself using CapCut to inspire your viewers. And you know what I mean? It's just a matter of playing around and figuring out what you like, what's on brand for you, changing the fonts and doing all that. Let me just play around with the rest of these videos and I'll, I'll see what I come up with. As you can see, I played around with text, animations and blows. I also downloaded an image of the CapCut logo from the internet. So something I'm going to do now is I'm going to add this CapCut uh, icon when, it, when I say CapCut, which makes sense, right? So I'm going to put it here. Self using Cap. When I say CapCut, I want it to pop out. So let's time it. Boom. Let's go adjust. There we go. Something like that. Make one for yourself using CapCut to inspire your viewers and yourself to never give up. To keep going. I then made a few more minor adjustments, including fixing the alignment of the text and making sure the timing was on point. All right. So I feel like I've done a few more edits and let's just watch it full screen and I'll break it down after. I hope cool videos have been going viral on social media. Maybe it's time to learn how you can make one for yourself using CapCut to inspire your viewers and yourself to never give up. To keep going. All right, something I added a few times was this slide in animation and how I did the slide in animations for like here as well was select the last word or a word that you want to apply to you go to animation and go slide up or slide left or slide down and you can choose so this one was slide up never was slide left to never give up. And yeah, I just adjusted the size, varied it up a bit. You can play around. And then I made a few more minor adjustments. And that's pretty much it. And I'll let you watch the final edit one more time. Hope cool videos have been going viral on social media. Maybe it's time to learn how you can make one for yourself using CapCut to inspire your viewers and yourself to never give up. Alright, I hope that was helpful. My name is Junius. I'm a medical student, but I try to document whatever I learn when it comes to content creation, video editing, content strategy on my YouTube channel, and everything's organized into playlists. I pretty much drop all the knowledge I learn. So I hope it has been helpful. I really appreciate your support because it's like my side part-time thing. So it means a lot. But thanks for watching. Uh, consider subscribing. And if you want more CapCut editing tutorials, check out this playlist right here. But I really appreciate your support. It does mean a lot. And I'll see you in the next one.